Hello Grade 11s and welcome to this lesson on UIF. Have you ever heard people talk about claiming money when they are unemployed or on maternity leave? They claim from the Unemployment Insurance Fund called the UIF. This means that when an employee or worker is faced with a loss of income from an employer, they are able to claim from the UIF. For a limited period, they will receive an income. You might be wondering where the UIF get their money from. Well, let me answer that for you. At the time of this filming, every employer was required to pay unemployment insurance contributions of 2% of the value of each worker's pay per month. Half of this money can be deducted from the worker's pay, the other half the employer must pay. The UIF Act applies to all workers with a few exceptions. Workers employed for less than 24 hours a month for an employer, learners, public servants, foreigners working on contract, workers who only earn commission. If a worker is not able to work, they can sometimes make claims to UIF. They will then receive some income for a limited period. Workers can claim for benefits if they lose their jobs through retrenchment or illness. Their employers or bosses go bankrupt, their work contracts end, or if they are fired. A worker cannot claim any benefits if they are suspended because of fraud, quit their job, do not report at set dates and times for work, or refuse training and advice. The amount of income that a person receives is determined by the claims rules. These rules are all available on the Department of Labor's website. One of the more common claims made to UIF is for maternity leave. Whilst a woman is unable to work due to having a baby, they can claim a percentage of their salary for the period that they are on leave for. This period is usually limited to four months. If a worker has lost their job, they need to first register as a job seeker before they can claim from the UIF. They can claim an income for a maximum of 17 weeks. Let's take a look at a payslip to illustrate how the deduction is calculated on the payslip. This payslip belongs to David Rafuza. He works for Ace Garden Services. He earns a monthly salary of 2,300 Rand. On this payslip, we read off an amount of 23 Rand being the amount that is deducted as the UIF contribution. Now, how is this amount calculated? Remember that employers can deduct 1% of each worker's salary to go towards UIF. David's basic salary for the month is 2,300 Rand per month. 1% of 2,300 Rand equals 23 Rand. Remember that David's employer, Ace Garden Services, is required to match this contribution. This means that together they will pay the UIF 46 Rand. It is their responsibility to register David with the UIF. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to claim from or register someone with the UIF, the staff at the Department of Labor will be able to assist with all the processes. You will be asked to provide certain documents for these processes. Make sure you have everything you need before you get to the offices. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember, the tasks for this section can be found in the VAT and UIF task video. You'll also be able to learn more about this section on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.